Yo, it's big fan Breezy with the Brooklyn Nets vlog. See, I ain't gonna be here for a long time. I just wanna pull up real quick and talk about Jack Vaughn as a player and you know how he became a coach and why all this expectation is around him. But again, I just wanted to slow it down so we could discuss him as a player and you know how did he impact the team? He played for the Nets for two seasons, you know, 2003 and 2004. I'm sorry, 2004 and 2005. And he came off the bench a lot. He played 71 games in one season, and he started 34 times. So, like, half the time he started, half the time he did, you know. I'm just trying to figure out how he's going to do rotations based on the playing time that he got. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's big fan breezy with the Brooklyn Nets vlog, man. I'm just chilling, man. I want to know if he takes into consideration him as a player and how does that translate as a coach. So we're just going to, you know what I mean, dive into that, you know what I mean, real quick in just a minute. Big fan crazy with the Brooklyn Nets vlog. Look at yeah, so you know, again, man, shout to Jacques Paul, man. That's that's a good he had, he has a lot of potential for this season. And, you know, he wasn't a scorer when I look at his stats, you know. Believe it or not, he averaged three – he averaged five points a game. And then one he, one he averaged – season he averaged three points a game for the New Jersey Nets. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that to say, when you look at his field goal percentage, though, he shot over 40%. He shot 44%. And he shot 43%. And from three, he shot 30. One year, he shot at uh, 33%. You know what I'm saying? And next year, is kind of dismal. Now, that being said, you know, he was a good free throw shooter. And one year, uh, that one season, the first season he got there in 2004, 05, he had feet. He, he had, uh, he was 83% from behind the uh, free throw line. Yeah, a board and a half. He a guard to about a, about two assists, about a closer still a game. So basically, you know what he did and brought to the game, you really can't see in the box score. Now I'm saying, for it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make my point. You know what I mean at all. But what I will say is watching these games. Shout, shout to Reggie. Shout to uh, you know what I mean, like, share, comment, subscribe to my show and his show. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, I really think that a lot of good coaches come from being players in the league before they were uh, coaches. You know what I'm saying? I got to get credit to that. I, I mean, but it seemed like the better coaches weren't, like, great players. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I heard Bird had a stand where he was a coach, and he did great. But, you know, I got to follow up on that. But yeah, I was listening to um something to prove early and it was talking about, you know, that was pretty much like an article, but I'm listening to the audio they're talking about this is what they call in that something to prove. And it's funny that they call it that because I always say that before I heard them say that about something to prove, like the Brooklyn Nets, they got something to prove. It's a team that got something to prove, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe they should we should work together. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them though. But, yeah, man, they came out with something called something to prove, and that's been the story of the Nets, and it's because they dismantled the championship team, you know what I'm saying, just to be part of the NBA. Like, we wasn't just any team in the ABA that got absorbed. Nah, we won the championship the same year it was a merger. We got a chip on our shoulder. We want to turn that chip into a ship. You know what I'm saying? We try and get a championship. That's a fact. So, you know, listen, Nets fans, you're going to get fans, you know what I'm saying, That that's going to say this and that. 
But trust me, big fan Breezy right here, man. Any fans talking spicy about the Brooklyn Nets, I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? That's included uh, Reggie and his adventures. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and any, any other vlogger that's going to talk spicy about the Brooklyn Nets. You know what I mean? It's like that. Now, that being said, when it comes down to how it would translate from player to coach, I know being a point guard got to be one of the things that he would have a say on the matter. Now, he don't look at it through the eyes of a two guard. He would look at it from a point guard. In my opinion, most of Jacques Vaughn career was a point guard opposed to a two guard. So, He's going to, you know what I mean, look for a player that he could hopefully see follow through. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, shout out to, shout out to Barry. You know what I mean? I don't know. What, what, what's, what is that? Oh, you're talking about the Brooms. Uh, we, we, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We know all that. That's why we're here now. That's why we in the off season. We ain't comfortable. We ain't shit funny all season. We not playing. I was trying to see that recap. Um, shout out to Barry, man. I see you on the book, said you won the game. Um, I'm gonna throw the link in the chat for my guy, Barry, man. Both of y'all, I'm, yo, <laughs> Barry is a KD fan. Reggie is a Phoenix Suns vlogger. Yeah, Elephant. Word. Fuck you, 